in Montgomery, the Montgomery bus, but I want y'all to listen to this. Come on. Because our people have lost the idea of power. They gave you a broke ass gun and you believe that, that giving you, that's giving you power. There are some old ladies in Montgomery, Alabama, who were being discriminated against. The people were treating them horribly for 381 days. 381 days, they stopped riding the bus and walked to work every day. Miles and miles to work. 381 days. They inconvenienced themselves. They said, I, if I have to be treated like a second class citizen on this bus, I refuse to ride this bus anymore. For 381 days, people, you can't get on, you can't stop riding the bus for three damn days. 381 days, the kind of discipline that our people had in order to give you the things that you have, that you take for granted today, the things that you take for granted today, they did that for 381 days. So what if we did decide that we wasn't going to eat on the corner? What if we made that decision? And now we feel inconvenienced by it. But our weaknesses and our discipline and our lack of discipline allows people to do whatever they want to us because we refuse to have discipline and we refuse to have standards for ourselves. So people can sell you garbage and sell it to you at prices that are so high, but because you don't have the discipline to give your dollar to people who support you, then you always get second class treatment. Right, so now you got cameras on the block that don't work. And you and because you're not involved politically, you can't even say nothing about the cameras on the block. That's right. And so people can shoot and run away and they only get pictures of their feet. So they have cameras of pictures of people's feet that are running away. And because these things don't work, but they cost thousands of dollars to put there, and because you have no political voice, then they're going to stand there and make you believe that they're going to catch crime with these cameras when they don't even work in the first place. But you don't have the kind of political power or the discipline to say, at 7 o'clock, instead of watching uh, basketball wives, I'm going to organize my friends. I'm going to get on the phone and call my friends, and we're going to go down to the city council meeting instead of watching the, the, the wives thing. Instead of watching all those, uh, we're going to get on the phone. Instead of gossiping, I discipline myself and say, yo, we're going to get all our crew together. And instead of talking about the club we're going to go to on the weekend, we're going to talk about the council meeting that we need to go to and voice our concern about the conditions of our community. See, people in power have conditioned us this way. All we worried about is who knows who. Like, people even get angry with me because they feel like, since I know you, that I should have a certain privilege because I know you. But that's not how power should work. Power is not based on privilege. It's based on your organization. So if you are organized, then you should have the same relationship with the councilman than the person who known him for 20 years does. In fact, you should have a greater relationship.